Hi everyone, this is Gab from Strokes and Curves and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so from my last vlog, I've talked about how I prepare the skin. Yeah, my client's face and my skin as well. So for today, I'm going to be jumping into the next step, which would be foundation. Okay, so there's two kind of foundation that I have. This is actually what I usually do depends on the event yeah, that my clients are actually going or I am going to. So, for example, me, I'm going to like um, to perform on a stage or yeah, like before I act on stage, on a stage play. So what I do is I put, I choose um, cake foundation instead of liquid foundation. Why? Um, cake foundation, um, given the fact that it's actually like a water-based kind of um, application, I mean, I think that it really locked on my face so that whatever um, level of haggardness that I'm um, experiencing and also how, how sweaty I get, um, the cake foundation will still stay on my skin. Okay. About the liquid foundation, I love using this because, um, you know, it's very light. Well, it depends on the foundation, but like Maybelline um, Fit Me, it's really light on my skin. And also, as for my clients, really light. And, um, you know, they could go anywhere, any event, without um, feeling anything on their faces. So now I'm going to show um, you the application of both of this kind of foundation okay so if you wanted to first know how to apply perfectly the foundation on your skin and which kind of foundation are you gonna use for a certain event just keep on watching so what I am going to do is I'm going to put a liquid foundation on the side of my face okay and for the cake foundation I am going to put it in here okay I choose this um, this side because I have, I have little scars from my childhood fights. I'm so sorry. I'm such a pillow by the time. But anyway, I'm going to proceed now. For my foundation, I am going to use Maybelline Fit Me foundation in a shade of toffee. Here. Oh no. It's here. I'm sorry. Toffee. And so I will now proceed. I really like this um, Maybelline line or Fit Me line because it has a medium coverage but it's also buildable so that's a nice, that's actually a good thing. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it on my face with a brush and also blending it with my puff. So let's proceed. I usually start under my eye, pataas. Okay. And then I was just like creating a triangular whatever you're seeing right now. It's like an art. Kasi, why? Because um, the, the line that I have is actually in here. Yeah, on my under eye. It's not my foundation. <laughs> And also in here with my um the apple yeah under the apple of my cheek I don't know if that makes sense but yeah that's how I apply it so then here on my client's face I have um, experience to put foundation on a very oily face and also uh, she has this um, lots of acne marks and super mahirap siyang um, gawin. What I did is like um, habang giluwa ko dun.
You see guys, meron akong um, something dyan. So, I'm going to put a little bit more para hindi siya ganun makita. Okay. Hindi na makapal na yung foundation. But it's okay. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so this time, I'm going to use this puff. Uh, it's actually uh, damp. So, mas mabilis siyang mag mablend sa skin natin. So, <coughs> on the second layer, kind of like second layer of my foundation, I'm going to um, yeah, focus on the areas where I have a lot of um, cheese means or you know a lot of flaws like um scar um marks for the acne um also for for the hives i always got hives and i, ha I have a lot also of clients who who have of marks from yesterday's so, um, so on the forehead, you do this. Nowadays, guys, foundation is actually the key. I know that a lot of girls says that key lie is life, but actually, for you, um, to really satisfy yourself with the look that you are actually trying to achieve. It's the clean, flawless, and equally blended uh, foundation. Kaya kahit hindi ka na masyadong maglagay ng, um, ng eye do, ng uh, lipstick, or even kahit nga ano eh, um, hindi ka na masyadong maglagay ng blush on eh. Or, no, kahit hindi ka na maglagay ng highlighter, you are going to be good. As long as you apply your foundation perfectly, um, blended on your neck, um, matches your skin tone, that would be great. So, nothing to worry about um, the other thing, but nasa inyo yun, kung gusto nyo na full, full glam makeup, that, that's fine. But, for me, uh, good application of foundation, check. So there, there you go. It's not because of the lighting, but the application, pain. Sabi nga ni Katriona. I have a client who doesn't like to put con um, concealer. Yes, here, this concealer. So if you have a buildable, foundation and medium ray um medium coverage then i guess kung mag magandang pagkakalapat ng foundation niya then um you're all good you don't need to longer um you no longer need to apply concealer because concealer actually adds the heaviness of the makeup kahit na sabihin um light foundation yan or what kailang um mabigat pa rin yan sa mukha Kahit naman itong may bilin na parang wala na talaga sa face mo. May ano pa rin naman yan. May weight pa rin yan. So, I mean, kung kaya nyo, then okay. Lagay kayo ng concealer, but kung hindi, medyo naiirita kayo kasi medyo parang feeling nyo makapal or, you know, whatever. So, ganda nyo na lang yung patong ng foundation nyo. Unang patong, I mean, first application, um, for the whole face and then the second one um, try to focus on the area where you have kind, um, some flaws or some hives just like that I have hives um, also for the acne marks focus on them if you don't want to um, use fun, uh, concealer okay so I'm done with the application of my liquid foundation with the side this side of my face so i'm going to set the foundation using baby powder 
Okay, since we're talking about foundation, I'm also going to explain why am I using baby powder instead of um, powder foundation. Powder foundation, uh, given the fact that it actually has um, a coverage, it only means na nagdadagdag siya ng weight sa mukha. Since meron siyang coverage, must be bigat yung face and we don't like that. So, I'd rather um, put a baby powder, like a real baby powder, hindi yung yung may coverage. Talagang baby powder ng anak nyo, baby powder ng kapatid nyo. Anyway, we're just trying to set the foundation. Right. So, So we're done with the side. Yeah, it's all set. Now, let's move on with the cake foundation. What I'm going to use is actually a Nichido cake foundation on the shade of Mocha. Nichido Mocha. Okay, so usually, ang hinahanap ko is yung Kokoryu brand. The Kokoryu brand is actually what I'm using or what I used before when I was acting on stage or what, when I actually performed on stage. And maganda din talaga siya. So let's try this Nichido or Nichido kung ganun din yung coverage na sa akin. So I'm going to damp this sponge. Damp lang guys. Huwag masyadong basa kasi... I don't know. Di ako fan nun. Usually, I have the sponge, the big sponge, to apply cake foundation. However, wala, wala. O tayo maarite, ito lang yung meron dito. So, let's work on this one. So, I'm just going to um, damp it here and then put it um, directly on my face. So, again, dito tayo magsimula sa under eye. And then this area, actually, meron siyang ibang effect. I don't know kung gando pa rin yung kakalabasan niya. Here, in this area. And also, guys, when putting this kind of a foundation, kind of application for the foundation, you have to be gentle on your skin kasi, um nag absorb yung pores natin ng tubig. So, mas bibigat siya kapag masyadong madiin yung pagkaka-apply pagkaka ninyo. So, you just have to be really um, careful. Of course, you should love your skin. Not just your look that you love. You also have to love the skin. Sana wala nagpupok-pok. Parang hindi ko masyadong chechekan si um, Nichido. Pero, sige, gawa natin ang paraan. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done with um, the cake foundation. I don't want to put so much on my face with this kind of application because kawawa yung skin, masyadong mabigat. Okay, let's try to put um, a concealer in here because I can see that with this Nichido um, cake foundation parang hindi niya masyadong natakpan yung um, dark um, dark circle ko under eye so I'm going to try to put concealer over the cake foundation I haven't tried this before because of course ng bata naman ako wala, I don't know, wala ako masyadong eye bags but now Medyo matanda na ako. Medyo may chismis ng konti. I'm going to try this now. Okay, so I'm going to try to blend it. Sana hindi ko mapit yung um, cake foundation.
Okay, so guys, I am going to try. I'm going to set the concealer that we put um, earlier. Usually, kapag um, cake foundation, hindi na ako nagsaset kasi nga parang powder finish naman siya. So, okay lang na hindi mag-set. But since naglagay tayo ng concealer, we have to set it up. I'm just going to finish my look and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I am done with the rest of my face. Medyo, um, binongga ko na ng gusto yung pang stage play na level, you know. So, I just put some, uh, very very light na highlighter here and on my nose. And, uh, what else? Uh, lip balm. I think that moisturizer lip balm by, by Human Nature. Yeah, that one. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to give you my thoughts about um, the two products that we use, the cake and the liquid foundation. So for the liquid foundation, I guess that we can really use it like for everything. Every um, event that we're going to, we can use that. It's a check for me. Um, yes, it's a, actually a good thing that it's buildable. Yeah, the foundation that I have here is actually buildable. So even if I don't... Um, I don't put any concealer on the face because yeah, it's heavy, it's weighful or however you define it. Um, it's actually a good thing na pwede mong takpan. Yeah, you can cover um, the blemishes on your face um, with just a foundation, a buildable foundation. So again, um, first application, you cover or I mean you apply it on the whole of your face. Most, or I mean, for the rest of your face, and for the second application, or on the third application, if you want to do a full second application of the foundation, um, you should focus on, um, on the blemishes that you have, on the flaws, on the acne marks, yes, on the veins, on the red areas. Yeah, you can focus on it so, um, you can work the foundation as your concealer. Okay, so. Um, on the other side, we have here the cake foundation. For the cake foundation, I really do recom uh, recommend this for you to use it if you're going, you're stepping on a stage, like if you're going to perform, or if you're in a beauty contest, or even if you're hosting on stage, if there's anyone there who hosts. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I guess that it will still lock on your face even though yung niche do parang hindi siya masyadong okay sa akin kasi um, I don't know nagkakaroon siya ng um, white powder kapag natutuyo and I don't like that though you can like um, you know um, swipe it using your brush it's still not a good idea that it that it um, you know it's set that way but anyway you can work on it like me I just um, you know put some highlight kasi medyo matte finish kapag um, cake foundation um, but yes it still uh, covers um, most of my marks my um, my scars pero kasi yun sa under eye hindi parang hindi siya naging buildable pagdating doon kahit anong lagay ko doon ako nagsimula and my last um, damp it's still in here. Hindi pa rin siya, hindi pa rin yung natakpan yung dark circle ko. So, I used a concealer um, to cover it. Yes, and but I can see no more errors than that as when it comes to cake foundation. So, yeah, so that's it. For me, two kinds of foundation really works on a specific um, other specific way. But of course, it's really good. I, it's a really good idea that they discovered this uh, liquid foundation. Yeah, liquid foundation. So you know, our life will be easy. Our daily, um, you know, we can still be flawless on a daily basis. So that's it, guys. I hope that you learned a thing from me for this vlog, and um, yeah, I hope that you can apply it um, with your everyday lifestyle 
or for an event that you're going to. I hope that you had an idea uh, on which kind of foundation are you going to be using for this certain event. Anyway, this is Gab from Strokes and Curves again and please don't forget to like and subscribe with my channel and I'll see you again until next time.